Alright. Welcome to the bushlands. Yeah. Santa Claus! <laughs> Santa Claus? It's locked. No! <laughs> <laughs> no one ever said Santa Claus. Just, oh look, it's Cthulhu. What? Oh. How did he hit? Oh. Cthulhu. <laughs> I don't think, let's see what he has to say. It's oh. a, it's a guy dressed from in the Mario circus. frog suit. I said the war ended already. No matter. If you wanted to venture any further, it'd be my fault those big blue guys. Look try to crush you. Oh. Yeah, he does look more like frog suit Mario than a, than the than a great old one. <laughs> my name is Santa. Oh. No <laughs> wonder your house is locked. <laughs> I wanted to get some water and was attacked by those monsters. Also, were I you trying to break into my house just then? But I dropped my key on the way back. Now I can't get into my own home. Well, we have something to do. Yeah. I see some these. Oh wow, they're flying! Also, para para para. Oh my God, there's a giant one. Para wobble wobblies. I've, I've already right. forgotten what we've been calling them. I just call them fatties. Oh. Keys. Oh, okay. Oh. Green fatties, extra oh, fat. Come on, Green fatties. fatties. Santa's key. <laughs> Alright. Santa! I have, by what mechanics are these things flying? Uh, they have little... Ears? ...nubbies on their heads that they're spinning around, I guess. Alright. Yeah. The oh, fitting well. those guys become much easier in Nubbies. Serious. Oh! That's the key to my house! <laughs> you don't have a choice. You have yeah. to give it back. Also, that's like creepy face blocks. Yeah, those owls. Please come over. I have something nice for you. Uh, uh, uh. Santa's house. Save. Go save. Oh. You want to save? Yes. Game save. What's that sign say? This sign? Yeah. You this one? <laughs> 127 damage. Ow. You have died. Want to retry? Okay. <laughs> What's the sign say? Danger! Danger. This is trap is instant death. And use extreme caution. Okay. <laughs> I can't trick you into doing stupid things because you do it by yourself. <laughs> this is fair. What does Santa have for us? What does fire Rams have for below. us? Charcoal burns in Santa's fireplace. Okay. Santa. Thanks for getting earlier. I, sorry, it's pronounced Santa. Santa. I, I get a lot of confusion Santa. about that. Thanks again for the help earlier. I'd like to give you something. Obtain fireball. Awesome. Just oh, weapons. Fireball. Just having weapons poured onto me. Are you looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone around here, but if you plan on going further and you lead through the fireplace, you can check the house. Uh, fireball. Pew! I get two. You're Mario. Uh. Yeah, I wish so. I wish oh. Mario's oh. fire flower fireballs bounced that many times. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, defeating things in the bushlands becomes much easier when you have the fireball. Oh, yeah, because it's all. It hilly. rolls on the ground. It's all hilly and curvy. Just fire them up. Just stand on the ground. Oh, okay. You can also just like stand and just fire them forward and they'll roll up the hill. Yeah, that's a bit weird. And you can do that. See how easy this is? Yeah. New oh, fireball God. level two. Triangly fireballs. Sadly not so good against flying enemies. Yeah. Uh, oh, they dive bomb you! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take that, defenseless woodland critters. Fuck <laughs> <Not> nature. <laughs> ah, it wants to sit on you. I, I am very much reminded Level 3 of Fireball? The South Park episode. When they were in the rainforest. And they make the sound in the rainforest. I was, oh, oh, don't don't shoot that. Yeah, shoot I'm, it, Jake. I'm gonna shoot, shoot no, it. No, no, shoot it! Come uh, on. Okay, hang on. Uh, right. I'm gonna do this from a safe fish distance. Safe fish. Nothing. What? <laughs> no! Are you just... <laughs> it's important later. <sighs> oh, you have to do tricky, tricky platforming now. Alright, hang on. Actually, that block may or may not have been necessary to get that. I didn't jump all the way. That that curious video game thing where the longer you ju the longer you hold the jump button, the higher you jump. Yeah. Huh. You can do it. I wish that would be... <laughs> if you just How continue, you can't continue, continue, to alive. Flex, continue to flex your muscles while you're, you're like muscles while you're in the air, you <laughs> jump higher. So Freaking <laughs> Batman does it, man. <laughs> you gotta get that running start. You know you do. 
I can't, like, I can't, I have to, like, get it, I have to place it just right because I can't fall into it. Just apparently. garbage, that's platforming 101. You're, 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 you're turning back before you reach it. I don't think I am. This is gonna be the entire episode. Yeah, don't, just don't push back. I, you stop. have no idea what the desire is for stop, me to, stop. to yank the controller from you at this moment. Stop, 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 stop. Just, just get just, up here. Yeah, just go to the next platform. Uh, you might be able to go backwards. May I do it? Alright, if you want. Daniel's first experience with the game. Not quite. It's painful. No, the the thing is that the D-pad's not as responsive as I'd like. Wow, you really can't fall in. I told ya. You know the default human expression to just assume everyone else is completely incompetent. Mm. You managed to get it on the first try and never again. Yeah, really. <laughs> I can see how that. It's probably be. easier to just go around this way. Yeah. yeah. I guess you can play for a while. It's uh the left and right bumpers to switch weapons. The bumpers? Yeah. yeah. I think you can only destroy um, blocks with polar star and rockets, not with the fireball. Yeah, the fireballs don't seem to destroy the destroy blocks. Just bounce these star blocks. Yeah! Oh, yep. Oh, that one looks tricky. <gasps> I'm not doing it. Uh, can I, I give it a shot? Oh, I want to do it. Let me, let me can, do it. I, can, <laughs> I, can I just give it a shot? Alright, you get one try. Uh, how, do I, how do I play this game again? Ugh. Oh fuck you! Uh, oh, good. That, but I made the jump that that you were so so, so cautious about. You, I'm, I'm not used to playing platformers with a D-pad. I usually play with a stick of some kind. Oh, ah, uh, fuck! Okay, I okay, fucked it. it up. You already used twice as many tries as you had. Ah, yeah. all right, come on. <laughs> This is, this is basically all I'm gonna be doing. Three strikes and you're arbitrarily out. Come on. Uh, no, fuck you. <laughs> this is my controller. Then this isn't baseball. Well, then unplug it and I'll plug in my controller. Okay, great. Bitches! Oh, now I'm gonna do it again anyway. <laughs> Just to spite me. <laughs> uh, to make sure I would get it if I were the one playing. Hurry up. There. There you go. Wow, that fo that flows very naturally. Jumps. Yeah. I didn't think they would, but I'm like, oh, hey, that's that's. I guess it does work. Um, does this grass fall out or something? No, it's it, it's it's in, insidious, not material grass. Oh. Congratulations. You just said no, and then called it non-material grass. It oh, you're save. killing me, Matt. We didn't save on that. Now we have to go back and do it again. That's all right. I don't know if it matters if we talk to this person. He, have to, he gives you the fire. Oh, right. I forgot already. And now save after this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we save for everything. I'm kind of glad that all this happened now. Now we get to... <laughs> now Jake gets, gets to have the actual thrill of getting it. Yeah. Uh, Cthulhu, who cares? Does he say anything important? Um, he appears oftentimes, often giving you hints. No, but, but does he say anything important that we need to know for this? No. I don't think so, anyway. Let's get some Lovely fire! Well. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, missiles on bats! Yeah, they, we got missile pickups. Uh, yeah. No. It's one of those limited number of projectiles on screen at a time weapons. Does it do any more or less damage than the Polar Star? I think it's a little bit more. Mm. It's kind of limited in how you can use it. Yeah. But it's perfectly suited for this area. Imagine the area which you get a weapon is the perfect place to use it! Surprisingly uncommon. <laughs> That jump right there, you can just... So weird! That's perfectly... The game's well made. Yeah. I think I'm getting achievement progress for repeatedly getting that same uh, health pickup. 
That'd be pretty great. Because <laughs> for some reason, funny. for some reason, it's not showing what's actually happening when I get Steam notifications. But oh, see, happening. if you were using the fireball, it would just. Oh, that's, that's true. Not, yeah. That's supposed to give you a hint. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying, ha, uh, you know. We didn't catch on to that. But what's this? What's they this give mean, you the bats right over here. What's this nonsense? So I didn't kill anybody on spikes. You're. You're, they give you the bat, so you're inclined to switch to the polar star to kill them, because this isn't going to do jack. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, that's funny. Bats! That's my favorite kind of game, where it's funny on purpose. Because uh, it made you do it. Uh, let's see who's here. I think this comes Oh, it's Chaco's house. Oh. Chaco. Chaco! Hi, how might I help you? I think you guys look quite dangerous. Which oh, one? Are you a traveler? Probably the gun you are holding. Yeah. What about this one, or this one, or this Let's one again? Save. You want to see it again? On the other side of the glowing flames, you can't get past the fire. Can I try? You want to go through my fireplace? If you're going to do that, you're going to need to get a bit of jellyfish juice. Oh, okay. I think jelly has it. I can't just use water? Like, you know, the sprinkler you have outside, woman? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, this is sprinkler. <laughs> this is cl oh, and now it's, now it's filled with jelly. Now, because she mentioned the big jelly, it's now filled with jellyfish. Great. Uh, where is the big jelly? Uh, go near, back? The, near the beginning. Yeah. However, you're not going to want to immediately go there because you can use jellyfish juice in several places to get shit. I, I'm huh. reminded of uh, very much of SpongeBob. Oh, jellyfish? Huh. 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 Invincibility! Ah. Invincibility frames! Yeah, that's weird. Our first invincibility <laughs> nonsense. So I need to get some Polar Star X. Put that out of there. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, Max. I need to get some extra back. Some extra. What? Some extra. exposition. Yeah. You mean some experience? No, I mean expo. <laughs> Don't you know how to spell? Yeah. And I put a bubble in apocalyptic future. Damn it. <laughs> he just, he didn't even like hold uh, his jump. Uh, how does it go in the Cloud Atlas? How does the language go in, in the in the Post-apocalyptic future? Oh, it's it's like beyond Thunderdome. Like uh, they, they, so, so they talk they, they use the word yarn instead of story. Huh. Like I'll yarn you a tail. <laughs> well you wouldn't it's, say I'll story you a tail. I think you just might want to use oh there's the big jelly. I spin you a yarn. No, he doesn't even. He doesn't even say I yarn you a tail. The first opening movie is I'll I'll, I'll yarn you. Huh. I'll yarn you about the first time he and I met. Oh, okay. So that movie has like it's six movies. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite movies ever. I was moving with a cast of six people. <laughs> I like I like that Hugo. Six Weaving, people. Hugo Weaving plays a bad guy in every single storyline. Six, six people, five hundred characters. You go, you go living <laughs> is like a '70s hitman, a like woman. Big jelly. Oh, that looks like this is like a Metroid. Da 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 da. N now you use the flaming thing. Yay. It's not working. <laughs> okay. You use the ice yeah. beam and missiles. Oh, it's a chest. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the jelly juice. I go to Santa. Now we're gonna go pour I go to Santa's house. Santa's house. Okay. I mean, oh yeah, so we'll, I assume the I assume the, the, the big jelly respawns. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So we don't want to go to Turbo's house because the jellyfish juice has several uses. What do we need to do? Probably put out the fire in here. Uh, Always refill health and save. Yeah. Yay! Now go over and stand on those spikes. Okay. Yeah. Use jellyfish juice. Poof. There's something within the ashes. Okay, charcoal. charcoal. That you'll, was, need, you'll, you'll need that eventually. That was expectable. Alright, let's save for the charcoal. And In an adventure go. game style, that'll become important later. Just to do it now. <laughs> now, there's one other thing you want to do. You want to you gotta get some more jellyfish juice. Like in Pitfall, all that gold you keep collecting becomes valuable at some point. <laughs> I've never played Pitfalls. So. Except, <laughs> except for the version that appeared in Ultimate Alliance. It's just like that. It, honest to God, is just like that. I, don't, I think that's when we stopped playing. <laughs> uh, dude, I played through that. I love it. It's one of my favorite parts. Pitfall's fucking awesome. Original, like, Atari Pitfall? Yes! Oh. Yeah, I haven't played it I'm very sad that, that Tomb Raider is, like, 
the spiritual successor and in many ways the actual successor to Pitfall. And we still don't have a 3D Pitfall game. Yeah. I mean, seriously, if that was made, you have all these old school people being like, Fuck it, man! That was they, a one hit level, though. They need to get, like, whip mechanics that. Yeah, well, a giant fucking thing sat on you. They need to make whip mechanics for that that mimic, like, um, God of War. Hmm. That would be great. Oh, go, go, go kill the jellyfish, dude. Yeah, I know, I'm just cleaning it up. If you can manage to kill it without getting the, hit it without getting the block, it'll be trapped there. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Nope. It even has angry eyes. Yeah. Uh, jelly juice. Yeah, all right, come on. No, head the other way. I remember in the Mamika Village there was a fireplace. Right. All the way back. Yeah, there's teleport. <laughs> there is a one foot rise. It is impassable. <laughs> Who owned Pitfall? Was it Atari? I don't know. Looking it up. Thank you, Internet, for teaching us so much that we need to know. Need being the optimal word there. What are you talking about? Yay! Yeah, go! Pitfall, the older than I am original. <laughs> Alright, who's house on the fire? Um, the, the, Activision! Uh, Activision's still fucking around! Yeah. Activision's fucking around in a big way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's uncomfortable because it's don't, true. Don't, way. don't remind me. Activision had some brilliant shit in the day. Oh, I, I thought... I only remember Activision because they made Tony Hawk. Many people only, and they remember it only because of Tony Hawk. And they, you know, they eat you know, up Blizzard Entertainment. That's how they're buried within the ashes. The bubble, bubble line. line. Is this another weapon? Yes. Oh. But somehow right, Blizzard, is, Blizzard is still making decent games. It oh. becomes much more impressive when you level it up. Okay. I never got this weapon because I didn't know, I didn't think to bring another jellyfish juice back to the fire here. Dude, I, I checked every single fire I could. <laughs> but I didn't play very far into this game for the first time through anyway. Hopefully we'll do better this time. That would be a good um, place to stop for our first episode. Yeah, I'll just save back at uh, the, the, the place. Yes. Bushland! Yes! It's such an adorable weapon. <laughs> Alright. We'll see what possible threat bubbles can pose to the wildlife of the bushlands. Next time. See y'all later. Later. Next time on Trapped in a Bubble, or Does This Blow? <laughs> <laughs>